Aloha everyone, Kimo here and welcome to my home. I'm so excited that you're here because today I'm going to show you my version of two modern boho deserty kinds of wreaths that I made from one tomato cage from Dollar Tree as well as a bunch of dead stuff that I collected on a recent walk with my dog Kubo. Today is also a collaboration video with my friend Nadia, who is over at her channel DIY with Nadia, and I'm going to tell you more about her in just a little bit. But for now, let's hop into our two modern boho desert chic wreaths. So this is a tomato cage that I got from Dollar Tree a couple of months ago, I want to say. And I bought it because I loved these wire circles that are part of it. And I thought they'd actually make a really nice wreath or wall hanging. So this is my opportunity to do just that. Now, unlike a lot of other metal tomato cages, this tomato cage was actually fairly easy to take apart. It's connected with these little plastic pieces. So I just removed those plastic end pieces. I was able to remove those circles off of those metal rods. And now, as you can see here, I'm just simply removing the ends, plastic ends of those rods as well. I'm going to continue using my wire cutters to just remove those little plastic parts, which will leave me three wire rings and three metal rods to work with. So I decided to make two wreaths actually. The first wreath I'll use these concentric circles and the second wreath I will use those metal rods. So for the first wreath here I'm just assembling those three circles in a way that will bring a little bit of visual interest and maybe some modernity and I'm going to use some hot glue to simply kind of put them into place uh, just as I want them to and then I'm going to use some twist ties to securely fasten them down. And I don't know if anyone else does this as well, but I tend to save my twist ties and I put them in my utility drawer because I tend to use them a lot for crafts. And yes, when it comes to crafting, I can be very utilitarian and I like to work on the cheap as much as possible. And speaking of that, these are probably two of the most inexpensive projects that I've ever done on my channel because really the only thing I had to buy was this tomato cage from Dollar Tree. And a quick shout out to all my subscribers out there. I so appreciate your love and support. It really means the world to me and it is helping my channel to grow. And if you are new here, I wanted to say welcome and aloha to you. I hope you find some inspiration here today. And if you do, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel for more quirky, modern, colorful DIY crafts. Now with our concentric circles assembled together, I thought I would focus now on these metal rods. And there were three, but I'm only going to use two for this particular wreath. You can see here that I'm just slowly and gently bending those uh, pieces into somewhat of a semicircle, and then I'm going to put them together in kind of an interesting design. Again, using hot glue for the temporary hold, and then I'm going to go back with some twist ties to make sure that everything is securely in place. Now one thing I learned in bending these metal rods is that they are actually a little bit more, shall we say, fragile than I thought they were originally, meaning that they do have a tendency to bend. So go very, very slowly and gently, even though it's a tough material, um, you don't want it to kind of snap in half if that makes sense. So now that we have the shapes that we're going for with our two wreath forms, I guess you could say, I'm going to spray paint them with a metallic gold. Now for a lot of you who follow me, you know that I love copper. Copper is sort of my jam when it comes to metallics, but here I'm using gold because I think that the gold will pop a little bit more against uh, a background. So I'm gonna use gold here on both sides to make sure that there's good coverage on both of our wreath forms. And I just love watching people spray paint on YouTube. I don't know if it's just a thing with me or what. And here are these dead weeds, I guess you could say, that I assembled uh, as I was walking my dog Kubo. And you can see they are kind of a prickly, I don't even know what they're called, but these prickly things. <laughs> I'm no botanist, obviously. And then I also have some of these uh, dead dry branches. So I'm just going to use a pair of cutters to kind of uh, cut everything down so it's a little bit more manageable to work 
work with, including uh, these little, I don't know what they're called, you guys. I'm just going to call them prickly, prickly weed things. How's that? Today's video is a collaboration with my friend Nadia over at DIY with Nadia. Now, if you don't know who she is, she is an amazing crafter, loves to do home decor and other DIYs, and she happens to be the queen of wreaths, in my humble opinion. When she asked me to collaborate with her on this challenge, I was so happy to do so because she inspired me to step outside of my box. So please go overhead to Nadia's channel, show her some love and support, and let her know that her pal Kimo craft sent ya. So our first project is a concentric circles wreath and now I'm just going to add all of that beautiful dead stuff that I collected on my walk with my dog. And so here you can see that I've got some of those branches that I've cut and now I'm just going to attach them to our wreath form here. Uh, just kind of placing them first to see where I want them to fall. I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue to temporarily hold them in place and then after that I'm going to tie them with a little bit of string. This is just regular regular string from a roll uh, that I'm going to tie with a double knot on the back of the wreath form. Now the overall look that I was going for here, I'm calling desert chic. I really don't even know if that's a thing, but I like this deserty vibe that I'm getting. It's still a modern wreath, but I wanted it to be kind of rustic and deserty. So I think using the string really helps to just kind of make it more accessible as well. And if you don't already know, I'm originally from Honolulu, Hawaii, born and raised there. But I now live in Salt Lake City, Utah. I've been here for a number of years now. It's a very desert kind of climate and I've just really grown to love the natural vegetation that grows here. I think it's just absolutely beautiful. And so I'm happy to use some of those really beautiful dead things on my wreath here. You can see here that I'm snipping off the tops of those prickly things. Again, don't know what they're called, so sorry. If if you know what they're called, leave me a comment down below so I don't have to call them those prickly things anymore. And every now and then I'm just kind of clipping off um, bits and pieces of those little parts uh, so that they can fit together a little bit more, more easily, if that makes sense. Just using some hot glue to attach those prickly parts onto the wreath. So I think our wreath is coming together quite nicely. It's quite sparse actually, which is great because I really want um, the viewer to see the shape of those concentric circles while still appreciating this vegetation around it. So I added some string to the top of our wreath as a hanging mechanism, and then I just turned the wreath over on its back, and with my hot glue gun, I'm just kind of securing everything in place. All the little string knots, uh, all those little prickly parts, and here is our final result. I love this desert, chic, modern kind of feel that I was going for. It's simple, it's modern, it's sparse, but I still think that it has a lot of impact. And again, how economical can you get? I estimate that I spent probably a dollar or less on this wreath. Our second project is a modern boho geometric wreath that I made with the metal rods of that tomato cage from Dollar Tree. Now in my projects, I like going for unique features, shapes, and forms, and so I don't really have a way to describe what this shape is for this wreath, um, but it was something that I thought would be kind of interesting on a wall. And here you can see that I'm just taking some of those twigs um, from the materials that I gathered earlier. Uh, I'm kind of grouping them together in like four or five twigs at once, putting some hot glue to kind of uh, hold them together, attaching them to the wreath and using more string to really fully secure them to the back of the wreath using a double knot. So I'm going to be doing more of the same here, gathering up twigs uh, in about four or five a bundle and then I'm going to be gluing them together and eventually attaching them to the wreath. I didn't really have a clear design plan as I started this particular wreath. I just kind of thought that I would let the materials and the wreath form itself dictate where everything should go. 
And although I think that I'm very much a planner when it comes to my projects, I also want to be sure that along the way I'm honoring the materials as much as possible. Because for me anyway, a lot of times the materials speak to me and tell me how they want to be incorporated into a piece. And you might be asking, Kimo, did you hurt yourself on any of these prickly parts? And the short answer is yes. I didn't draw any blood, but sometimes you have to suffer for your art, right? <laughs> but on a more serious note, I'm loving the way that this turned out. And here is our final result. I think this is a beautiful shape, an unusual and unique shape, but I really feel like uh, you get something kind of modern and different from this particular shape. But not to be outdone, I thought it would be interesting to just turn the wreath upside down and to see if that gave us a different look and feel. And although it does have a similar vibe, I think it does read a little bit differently with the wreath going the opposite direction. And in fact, I'd love to know from you if you prefer the wreath with the rods pointing upwards or pointing downwards, let me know in a comment down below. And in fact, just let me know overall what you think of these modern boho wreaths with a desert vibe. Would love to hear from you. Thank you for joining me today. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell to get notified every time I upload a new video, and I will see you next time.